So when did you realize that uh, you had a special skill set? When did that happen for you? Uh, I, I don't think I really knew what I was able to do until probably my second year into college. Uh, freshman year coming from high school, you don't really know what to expect. And uh, I was still 6'3", 185 pounds soaking wet. So I was a uh, big pole out there. But um, as I matured and played more my freshman year, I kind of got a sense of or a grasp of what I could do. And then sophomore year, a defensive coordinator used me in different positions and that's when I kind of got the sense that I could move around a little bit, and um, I'm here now. Have you any contact with Ed Reed? Has he reached out to you, you with him, any chit-chat with Ed? I've talk- Not recently, but I've talked to him a few times. I talked to him once pre-draft. I saw him in L.A. Um, during the Super Bowl week, and then as soon as I got drafted, I, got- I came to Baltimore, and we FaceTimed, and uh, we talked a few times after that. He's the best, isn't he? He's just the greatest. He is, he's like a he's like a wealth of knowledge. So who do you model your game after? Again, I, I, I choose Ed because obviously he's a guy in the back end that did so much, and I think he freelanced as well at some point. He felt compelled, um, you know, and lateraled and did all sorts of crazy things after picking off. But he's not he's not your size at all, you know. So who's your model? Who do you model your game after? Would you say? Yeah, I mean, when you're Ed Reed, you can you can do a little bit more than yeah. <laughs> what the coaches are saying you do. But uh, I think growing up, and I said this recently, uh, I was always a Sean Taylor guy, and obviously he passed away, and a uh, sad story. But I feel like he was a bigger guy who um, wasn't super animated, uh, just went out there, did what he's supposed to do, was physical, uh, could cover, and he was a good teammate. And I feel like that's somebody who I would want to model my game after. Um, and he's just one of my all-time great safeties. And obviously, great defenses work together. Um, what's your relationship like with Roquan Smith? What's that? Roquan is uh, – he's another Georgia boy like myself. Um, so he's from middle of nowhere, Georgia. I'm actually from the city. But uh, he uh, he's really cool. He's <laughs> He's been the same guy since he walked in the building the first day after getting traded into when he is now. You're going to hear him every time he steps in the building because he's nonstop talking all day long and – He's my locker buddy, so he's right next to me every single day. He's always got some some little joke to to poke me with in the morning and uh, some little jab, and we just go back and forth, and it's a, it's a good relationship. Okay. Can you repeat the one he came up with today? You got one for uh, me today? What happened today? I was getting a, I was getting a massage this morning, mm-hmm. and he walked in, and it was like, oh, look at, look at little Kyle thinking he's in the Bahamas getting a massage on the mm. beach. But you're taking care of your body, Kyle. You know, this is not it's not like, you know, you're 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 requesting, you know, a certain type of oil or anything like that. Like this is this is for real. You're getting ready to play the back end against the 49ers, yeah, I think it's, Kyle. I think it's just a part of I'm I'm the younger guy and I'm 22 and he's like 39 years old. So, <laughs> so uh, he's on the way out and he's trying to hang on. That's it. I like your moxie, Kyle Hamilton. I knew it. I knew it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.